So I just um I just tried to record how to make an engine and when I cloned it to add more pistons to it, it crashed. Like the game properly crashed, so we're trying again. Except this time I'm gonna simplify it and know what I'm doing. Okay, you get your sequencer, which will be in the description. You're gonna get this. I'm putting the sequencer in the description because I don't remember how I made it. I mean, I do remember how I made it, but I can't be bothered to tell you people. We are going to do a sideways engine thingy that I've never done before because I just think I'm that stupid. Oh wait, I am that stupid. It's fine. No worries. I am that stupid. It's gonna be an eight, eight piston setup and it's gonna be pretty crap, but it's gonna work and it's gonna be your first engine. So be happy. Be happy. You've never had an engine before, have you? Hmm. Think about that. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be very simple. We are just trying to get a fairly decent speed on this thing. Not gonna do a V engine, even though I wanted to. Um, apparently those are just not stable enough in road to gramp. Rod gramp, hee <laughs> hee. Okay, we're gonna put, now that you've got this frame, we're gonna put um, three magazines on here in any position. We're gonna put literally anything apart from the front. Um, put two magazines here. Gonna get two uh, joints. I am really simplifying this this time, aren't I? Good work, me. Hell yeah. Mm, simplification, love it. Okay, we're gonna put two ball sockets there. Gonna rotate X on both of them. Eight times. Okay, gonna get two wires. One, two. One there, one there. Okay, put one here, put one here. Bit wobbly, that's fine. Two pistons, check and check. One there, stop living. <laughs> one there, that's um, that's not a good setup. This isn't a V engine, what am I doing? can't do that. Okay, never mind that. Um, you're gonna want one on the left and one on the right. Listen, I've not, I've not done this type of engine much. Um, I'm gonna put this at the bottom. I'm gonna put joint on, a, on that piston, joint on that piston, joint there, joint there. Did it not work? What is this? What is this? Scam? Okay, um. So right now. All this all this can do is go in the middle. I've got, I've got a lot of stuff going on. But we can change this with four more pistons. So you're gonna repeat this process because it's 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 not a good idea to clone it. It crashed the last one, the last video. So I'm not doing that this time. <laughs> oh, I still can't believe it crashed. It looks a bit big, but you can compress it by um, rotating these ba these back and getting rid of the sticks. But just for ease of visibility, I'm not doing that. You don't have to. It is completely optional. That's just how it works. So now we are actually repeating the previous process again for random reasons. I, it's um, like a weight distribution thing, just so that everybody can see the steps well and doesn't get a mistake at the same time. If I do the weight distribution later, it's gonna be confusing, that's all. So put a piston here, piston here. We are once again going to load in the combiner. I will send the code to this as well. It's quite a useful little thing I have just for engines. Don't know why I called it a combiner and not just an engine segment thingy. Probably because combiner sounds better. Um, we're gonna grab this joint from the sticky bit and not from the from the uh, ball part. 
I hate you. No, no, was that the ball part? That was the ball part. Gonna put that there. Gonna put that there. Get you. Here. Wow. That just, that just did a thing. <laughs> I've never built this type of engine before. I'm just going off of some basic logic. So, these two are going in opposite directions. Now these two are. So when I switch it this way, the engine will go around. Now it's going to get a bit interesting because we're going to put one here and then later one here. And that's how this engine will get perfect cir full circles in and not need like momentum to work and not be capable of going the wrong direction. Which is the main issue because like I could do just an engine based off a switch but then it could go the wrong way. Because that's how engines work apparently. Why? Okay, we're gonna do this again, except this time, this time, this one and this one going at the top and the bottom. And it doesn't even matter which way they go. Because as long as these two are opposite, these two will just be guiding the rest of it. The next one um, after this will matter. But like for now, who cares? Okay, two magazines, two joints, two pistons. How long has this video been? Six minutes. This is going well. And no, I don't know how you would use this in a vehicle. Just a um, word of warning here. Um, I don't. I really don't. Um, <laughs> I put it in a plane and it took a lot of effort. You could probably use some universal joints or something to get it in a car. You could even put this in line with where the, um, with the wheels and put it on like that. It, it won't just power a car if you put it in the front of the car. Potato engines are not how actual engines work. They're not all thrusters. Because <laughs> people have asked that. Which, as stupid as it sounds... Okay, let's watch which way this goes. It goes that way, 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 that way. Right now it's in a bit of a uh, weird proportion system of how it's moving. It's also not the most efficient. Apparently pushing the pistons out is way better. But it also means nothing extends out when you're done, so it's um, it's quite concealed, which is good in my opinion. It's not causing interruptions or anything. Okay, two magazines, two joints, two pistons, two wires. So we're gonna look at where these go. That one's on. So this side will be at. Okay, this one, the next bottom one is going on the right bit. That's uh I'm just make I don't know why I'm holding that. <laughs> I've got something in my ear. And we're gonna rotate it. Pop it there. Gonna get one of them. Yep. Okay, I think this is going great personally. I think I'm doing a great job at this. Totally not a bad YouTuber. No, no, no way. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, we want a ball socket. But yeah, basically, the way the sequencer works is these two, after two ticks, will switch, and these two, after two ticks, will switch, but it's a different set of two ticks, so it acts as a circle. Basically, I've got two switches and one of them's on a on a, on a not gate. That's how that works. If you if you're interested, I could make a video on how to make that sequencer, but that just sounds like me being hungry for views, which I am. No denial. <laughs> no denial. We don't do denial. Okay, and boop. Can we get 300? Yes, we can. That is rotating about five times per second. The way you can work out the speed is divide 15 by whatever this is, and the output will be the speed it's trying to achieve. It's a fun thing, and I recommend saving this. I will put the code to this and to this beauty in the description. 
How I messed up. Wait one second. Firstly, it's a bit wobbly, isn't it? Which is a bit disappointing, but you know. Why did it not stop? It's not. Okay, one second. One second. Is it. Is it that much worse than the other types of engine I was using? Or is it a frame rate syncing thing? Because I know that happens. I think it's a frame rate syncing thing. I'm going to have to say that because we get. That was going quickly earlier, wasn't it? Look, when you look here, it's fine. When you look here, it's a bit. It's a bit broken. I'm gonna look at why that's like that. One moment. Okay, so two on, which is that and that. Flick it, that system. Flick it again, that system. Flick it again, that system. It should not be doing that. And by that, I mean struggling to start. There we go. Look at that. Maybe, maybe it needs a wait. Yeah, that seems good. All right. Um, that's that. Quick 11 minute, 11 minute video on how to make yourself a little engine. Thank you. And, uh, that'll be that. Also, nope, nothing else to say. Um, if you want a different engine type or if you know a very... If you want me to show a better method of making these, um, just tell me in the comments and please subscribe, subscribe to me.